but he's not what Man United need to move forward. I honestly believe that. When you look at it with, what, three, seven, five a week, this guy's on, just get what you can from him at PSG. When Oli Gunnar Solskjaer come out and said, I said to the players, I don't know if you saw it on the overlap, and he said, I said to the players, who doesn't want a beer and who does? And Rashford and Martial said, not me, and they stayed in. Everyone else came out. Goodbye. See you later. Take care. You don't want to play for the club. See you later. I, I don't know what he's still doing there. If that is true, what the hell is he still doing on the pitch? It's crazy. For me, I would have let him rot in the reserves after that moment and said, go find another club. You're a nice lad. I know you do a lot away from, away from the game, but you're not you're not welcome here at the club. This is Man United, one of the biggest clubs in the world. You don't get away with attitude like that. See you later. But there's Man United fans that cling on to this guy. They see he's been the Mbappe of Man United, I've heard over the years. And this guy just needs a good coach and he'll be fine. I've seen enough, man. The guy's 26, not, not 17. I've seen enough, man. He, he, he's he's for me one of the one of the many uh, things that are wrong with Man United in this playing squad, and I wouldn't just be him that I'd be getting rid of. There's a lot more that needs to be gone. But if you could cash in on this guy, do it, man, hundred percent. Oh, your mic stopped working. You got a mute there, uh, LB. Because that's because I'm muted. Um, we we've discussed United. We've not really spoke about Rashford specifically in the past. We might have touched on it slightly, but like we, 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 when we've had these conversations before, most of us agree that United need this proper reset to build the foundation properly, so then they can build like City have done, like Arsenal have done, like Liverpool have done. All of us have had a, a, a reset, and you know, obviously, City have uh, 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 in that first year under Pep Guardiola wasn't wasn't pretty, but from there we built the base, we kicked on. Uh, Liverpool, obviously, with Klopp and Arsenal with Arteta, we've all had that base where we where we where we created it and then kicked on. What you what United have to do? That United have to get rid of problem players and just players that are simply not good enough. And it can be difficult at times because United fans have maybe built up a connection to these players over multiple years, but ultimately. United fans, you, 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 the United board, the manager, everyone associated with that football club has to have a long, hard look at the situation and make difficult calls. And, and, and when it comes to Rashford, and I get there might be a difference of opinion, but you have to look at him and say just fundamentally, is this guy, A, good enough for this football club at where we want to be? And two... Does this guy have the mentality and desire to be playing at this football club? Because let's 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 not pretend like next year it's all going to be rosy. Like this new guy's come in, I think he's going to be better than the Glazers for Manchester United. And I actually think that in give it two years, I think United could be competing again. Um, but it's not going to be rosy. Next year is just going to be tricky as well. Yeah, you know I mean, because they're going to have to make these tricky decisions and buy players in and change the style. Do, do, it does Rashford have the mentality to, to 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 perform? So for me personally, from my point of view, obviously it, that's for all United fans to answer. By the way, from my point of view, is I'd get rid of this guy tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think he has the mentality. This guy doing the interview saying, "Oh, no one questioned my judgment," and that I've seen this guy. Yeah, and I don't even watch United every week. Right, whenever I watch United, I've seen this guy lazy at times, not sprinting back, not putting in challenges, not jumping in the air to win a header. And then he, he sits there in the interview, say, oh, don't question my mentality. For me personally, if I was a United fan, I'd, I'd try and cash in. And if and if PSG offer you anything upwards of 70 million, I'd snap their hand off and reinvest that money personally. Now, yes, it could be tricky because if he goes to PSG, he might slam it and he might get 30 goals. And then you're going to have to look at it and say, oh, we probably shouldn't have kept him. But you've got to just make that hard decision and move on. And I think for United... Is it a hard decision, LB? Like, let's real talk. Is that a hard decision? Because I understand Man United fans want one of their own to do well. But I, if you believe that Marcus Rashford is going to take you to that next level, your standards are on the floor. Because when I grew up, there was no Marcus Rashford getting near the Man United side. It was Ryan Giggs. It was Andre Kaczelskis. It was Eric Cantona. It was David Beckham, Cristiano Ronaldo. Those, all these guys were the ones I was looking at. Yeah, as the no, I hear you. Marcus Rashford is getting nowhere near that level. No, mate. I hear and you. Like, but but, but, but the, the, one of the issues that you've also then got to address is... There's a lot of other players that are worse than Marcus Rashford right. in that squad Absolutely that also right. need to be, and and he is taking the brunt of the of the situation. Yeah. But it, it is hard, it is hard, Dan, because he's a local lad that's a Manchester United fan who has had a couple of decent seasons. So it is hard. It is, in my opinion, it is a hard decision. But my decision would be get rid. Do you know what's interesting? It's 
you, you pulled a really good thing there, both of you, about if he leaves and does well at PSG and Man United aren't doing so well, you will get that, oh, see, we should have kept him. But that isn't always how life works in, in the sense of Man United got rid of Diego Forlan. He went on to kill it as a striker in La Liga. But Man United fans weren't kicking off about it back then because we were still winning Premier League. We were still winning Champions League. We were still winning domestic trophies. We were still one of the best teams in the world. And I think that whatever our decision is, and I am so 50-50 on it. Some days I do, I, and, I, and I, I think we're going to have to sacrifice a few players that you would look at as our better individuals. One to free up the salary to bring in other players. And I think some are just tainted and tarnished and damaged by the problems that the club has had over the past decade. And you sometimes need to move on from them. But the fans have also got to learn to be strong if those players go elsewhere and do well. Because say Bruno and Rashford are both sold this summer as many Man United fans want. There is a likelihood they do well elsewhere because I don't think they're bad football players. I just think they've fallen into the trap that is Manchester United. And if I'm going to have the energy that I don't think my manager can recover, it, it, it stands to reason that some of these players won't recover and ever, ever get back to a level that we need them to be. And it may just be easier if the right players are available in the transfer market to move some of these individuals on. And I look at it and think if we get offered 70, 80, 90 million for Marcus Rashford, it's something we have to, at the very least, seriously consider doing. We, ha we have to, and I'm, I'm sure it's probably already part of the conversations and part of the agenda right now, because I mean, I, feel, I actually think he is a, a, a talented player. I think there's, there's a lot of talent in there. I think if he was coached properly with a consistent system from the age of 18 until now, I think he'd be a very different individual with the right standards at the football club. But just as I said about Paul Pogba towards the end of his career, I just felt it was the right time for him to go at Man United. I do think I, I feel very similar how I did about uh, about Marcus Rashford. Now, if he does stay and he does, does does do well, then I'm really happy. And if we do keep him, then I hope it's the right decision and we get a very good and a very consistent Marcus Rashford that delivers for us. I, you know, I'm not going to sit here and throw my toys out the pram if he stays, but they're just, just in my heart of hearts, when I see that he's linked with a big money move away, part of me thinks both for us and him, it could be really beneficial. And you mentioned that the, the, the uh, Solsh Solskjaer stuff, and it was interesting listening to Solskjaer because I saw some people tweet, oh my God, it was Rashford and McTominay that came off. They were the two that didn't want to play. And th there could be a big element of truth to that. We also don't know whether he already decided to take them off and said, who wants to come on and play? And maybe people didn't put their hands up. He also stated that some of the other players in the dressing room were so upset because he said, guys, that's going to be me sacked now that they weren't in the right frame of mind. So if Rashford was truly heartbroken, that a manager that he had a lot of time and love for was going to be sacked, and he just, that meant he weren't in the right mindset to play, I don't look at that as having poor mentality per se. Because it's not like you're going for a league title when you're too emotional to play. So I think there's there's loads of levels to it, in my humble in my humble opinion. But I still look at him in this, this last season and think, you don't look happy. You don't really look like you want to be here. And the club have got to look at him as a player in his profile and say, how are we going to play football? Because he is great on the transition. He is great with the ball over the top. But if we want to play a more, a more intricate style of football, mm. I don't think he's that guy either. And we have great to, and if, if, if you true. make, and if you make Rashford try and play a style of football that he isn't accustomed to playing or isn't his best, that's when you're going to get the frustration in him. Because I don't know if in a year you're going to be able to push out the culture that has been in, in, ingrained in him over the past six to seven years, eight years, even 18, he came through 26 now, it's eight years. 